Roger. show you i know about you you help people well, I, I help people sometimes yeah i'll pay you of course i can't afford it this is all mine mine and my dad's not in the market for a new skirt but you're not sure tell me what you need okay but this is just between you and me can't let dad find out oh so it's his money you plan on spending nonsense I'm trying to stop Dad's girlfriend from spending his money. Elena. She's got him wrapped around her finger. They've only been together a month and she's gone through his savings already. He's even mortgaged the shop. She has to be stopped or we'll have nothing left. Take this. It's all I have. If this goes any further, she'll kill him. Wait, wait, what? Kill him? Like she did several so-called boyfriends before him. All fallen dead shortly after falling for her. Do you have proof? How about four bodies? All her exes except the last one. His name is Josh. Managed to escape her clutches alive. He can tell you all about her, I bet. Find Josh. Ask him. It may be the only way to save my father from his own stupidity. Where can I find Josh? Spends a lot of time at Frank's. Half in the bag. Usually after sunset. But I bet he can prove Elena is a killer. seen Albert this happy in forever. Thank you for what you're doing. Here's a list for your next book search. I've enjoyed our talks, but I tend to hog the conversation. Are there any questions you'd like to ask me? Well, actually, I am curious about something. Wonderful. What would you like to know? I get that you're a romantic, but are you into subjects like science? An interesting question. Hopefully, my answer will be worthy of it. You ask, though, as if they are entirely different ends of the spectrum. But to me, they are parallel notions. Whether it's science or romance, answers to questions are often best guesses based on what can be observed. With a different perspective, the same information leads to a different answer. For example, the sun was once a fiery god that with better observational tools, was revealed to be but a fiery ball of gas. How do you feel about science? Especially given its role in our current mess. Science is just a tool, like a hammer. You can use it to build a shelter or bury it in someone's skull. A vivid but effective example. Hopefully we'll see more shelters and fewer of the other. Hurry back so we can speak some more. Of course. I'm looking forward to it.
protect yourself from harmful electrical waves. My grandmother will put chestnuts under her mattress. Is that a joke? It's on you. Be careful. Doubt it. Why? Grandmother didn't have a sense of humor. That would have been crazy lately. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
What the hell? We having a stroke or something? No, bud. I'm trying to attract birds of prey. What the hell kind of sound are you making? It's the sound of a distressed rabbit. When I was a hunter, I'd make this sound to lure out wolves, lions, eagles. Any predator might fancy a bit of rabbit for dinner. Won't do you much good these days. There aren't many animals left. For now? Do you know why that is? The uh, virus? Indirectly. Animals didn't become infected the way people did, but the virus did disrupt the food chain. Panicked humans, worried about running out of food, killed and ate pretty much everything they could, with no thought to the future. 
They devastated the populations of the usual game. Rabbits, chicken, turkeys and such, then mice and rats and parakeets, anything that couldn't escape. Food became scarce for the larger predators like wolves and hawks. Eventually they starved or left to search for food elsewhere. And thus did the animals disappear, especially in urban areas with high concentrations of voracious humans. Forget about the infected. How does screeching like that help? You see, if I manage to attract a bird of prey, it's a sign. A sign the food chain might be on the mend. One bird likely means two. A healthy bird means it's feeding. A well-fed bird might signal the return of the rabbits. Rabbits feed wolves and other animals as well. So, you see... I do. What kind of help will they need? Mating pairs must be found, be they hawks or rabbits. And they must be bred like man has done throughout time. There are plenty of men and women who would protect man's future by protecting the animals of this earth. Were I to find a nesting pair of birds or a rabbit with kittens, I would guard them with my life. You sound more like a farmer than a hunter. <sighs> oh, I assure you, I still hunt. Crow, since they're so plentiful, infected for sport, and... And... And anyone who tried to fuck with my animals. Here, take this. Hopefully you'll help the animals return as well. Thanks. You really got me thinking.
Woo! <laughs> 